What it do, John? What? John? What? What it do is John Boy in the building, you heard me? And here with Vap TV. John Boy is a Southern Louisiana nigga, you know. Um, John Boy been making music his whole life, you know. John Boy real cool, laid back. I just want to smoke and make music, you heard me? That's it. Cool. Don't play with me, I won't play with you, dude. Uh, when when did you know you wanted to produce? Like, how did that come about? Is it, was it a hobby or you? Well, I've been playing drums since I was four. So like, mm. when I started uh, in the fourth grade, we had to take a little test to see what we had what it takes to make it to be in band and shit, you know. So I passed that shit and I was in band ever since, you know, playing the drums and shit, you know, and uh, and we used to have pep rallies, you know junior high school all that and I used to play the drum I used to grab the drumstick for the bass drum and the one for the snare and just do a beat that was on the radio like the big timers or something you know some Manny Fresh stuff and had a whole gym rocking and as soon as I started doing beats on them drums and had a whole school turning up that's when I knew I wanted to make beats for the rest of my life you know. Being a producer and making music from that point to like getting your own placement like how long did it take like did was it a struggle? Was it easy? Mm, I mean, I had to hustle, you know. I had to grind hard. When I first moved out here, I ain't had nothing but a keyboard, $500 in a, in a little Jeep. That was it. So I went to the guitar center every day, you heard me, and uh, just introduced myself to people. And they had the same keyboard that I had, you know, so I would get on that keyboard and make a beat from scratch in like 10 minutes. And a little crowd of six, seven people would be like, you know, oh man, that's a nice beat, well, you know. And uh, I just kept doing it and shit. Like the third or fourth day, CEO came in there by the name of Bingo. He uh, he owned On Deck Records. They put out the Shop Boys. We had the number one song in the world for two weeks, probably like a rock star. And, uh, you know, I became the head engineer and producer up there. And then, uh, man, after, after doing that for like a year and a half, Everybody in, in Atlanta that was in the streets, they knew who I was. They knew I could make a beat. They will come in with a hook. I make a beat to it real quick. You know, I was getting paid a little salary, but you know, I probably made like probably two, three hundred beats for them boys up there. You know, in a year of time, and people just started John Boy, John Boy, and the name just started flying. You know, in the street. Okay. Everybody knew I had them beats. You know, I always been like that though before I came to Atlanta, Louisiana too. And in, in your music, like, of course you said you played the drums, and I've heard, you know, a couple of other, other sounds. Yeah. Like, let let the people know what other instruments you, you play, too, live. Like, you don't, you just don't use software, right? I don't just use software, now. I use live instrumentation. I be playing a guitar, you know, I put live drums in my stuff sometimes, you know. Uh, I play keys, you heard me. You put, put any instrument in front of me, I'm going to figure that bitch out straight up, you know. Uh, been like that, you know, since I was little, I pick up things, instruments and stuff, you know. Started with pots and pans, and then from there, it went to a fist and a brush. You heard me in, uh, what, like, fourth grade, fifth grade. You know, I used to have the whole, the whole gym or the school going off a brush in my fist on the little benches and shit like that, you know. But anybody from my hood that know me, they'll tell you straight up, I've always been making music, I've always been turning the crowd up, you know? That's what's up. Um, tell us more about your um, production process. Like, do you have any inspirations or something to get you in your zone? Man, this besides this weed right here, you heard me? <laughs> this shit, some loud, you know, anything really. I don't need the weed, you know, but it definitely helped with the with the writing part of things, you know. But uh I just I could hear music, hear a song anywhere, you know, coming from somebody else's car, being in my car, being out somewhere, and then that'll inspire me to wanna go in the studio all night and just just go at it, you know. But uh my biggest inspiration I would have to say musically it had to be my mama, you heard me? Cause she been singing since I was 
before I was born. You know, she been I've been hearing her singing and shit, and the shit that she met, she forced me to listen to. I used to hate to listen to that shit. You know, like classical music and all that. She used to make make us listen to that shit. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, she my biggest musical inspiration, straight up. Okay. So, so um, do you do other like genres of music? Does that like that? Oh, yeah. I done produce gospel music, country music, R&B music, uh, rock and roll music. Uh, I done mixed rock and roll and produced it. Uh, of course, gangster rap, you know, that's what I'm mostly known for, but I got a little bit of everything. Pop music, I done done pop, some, done pop beats for people overseas, got a million views, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I can do any kind of music, but you know that gangster rap, that's my heart right there. That's where it all that's where it all started. And uh being in the projects with my dog, shout out to my nigga Jaquan, you heard me. And uh, you know, had a little beat machine, then a little keyboard, you know, right out there, make beats. Um this was before before I started really thinking about getting paid from it, you know. Just making beats all the time, man. That's all that's all I know. I know more now, but that's all I started off knowing. And that's what I know, I know, I know, you know. Okay. And we'll talk a little more recent and, and um, to touch on some of the artists you've worked with. Some is like uh, Pimp C. Like, how was that? Man, that was pretty dope, man. Actually, the way I work with Pimp C, you know what I'm saying? My homie shout out to my dog Big L, you know what I'm saying? He put the whole play together for me, you feel me? He uh him and Big Worm then went out to Houston, you know what I'm saying, took a flat out there, brought some of my beats with him, and Pim C was digging them bitches, man, you know what I'm saying? They flew back like a few days later. Big L put me right on the phone with Pim C, you know what I'm saying? He said, Man, I dig your beats, man, I fuck with your sound, man, your beats go hard, you got that pain in them, man. You the underdog, he kept saying, you the underdog right now. You know, and that was, shit, that was about three, four weeks, that was about three weeks before he passed away. And he was like, man, he working on some things, working on a single for, for I had did, did a beat, it was called Trill, he was working on that, you know. But uh, yeah, it was crazy, man, we found out, you know. We was all in the studio when we found out. That shit was crazy, but shout out to my dog, Big Al, for hooking that up. And uh, L had some Pimp C vocals, you know what I'm saying? He was like, hey man, I, can you make a beat to this? You know what I'm saying? It's just the vocals. I said, man, I know I can make a beat to it. I ain't never did that before, like just made a beat to vocals. And I did that, that, was, that was, had to be about nine, almost eight, nine, maybe 10 years ago, you know? And, uh, and I made a beat to it, man. He played it back for Pimp, you know what I'm saying? Pimp love that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I just that's how I kept working with Pimp, you know. Shout out okay. to L for hooking that up though, you know. Alright, and also some other artists you work with, Rocco. Just put out a new mixtape. Yeah, got, you know. Um, Real Spill, you got some placements on. Talk about your relationship with Rocco and that new project. Just. Oh man, Rocco, that's my brother right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Brother for life, you heard me? Me and Rock, you know, we get in the studio, man. We Every beat I go through, bro, bro got a song. He 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 got a song or a hook to it or something. He got something to go with it. He just get in the booth and go in. You know what I'm saying? We how we got so many songs, man. Bro, work at the crazy. You know what I'm saying? And we just did uh that uh that missing and still missing you. You know what I'm saying? That thing that retarded. And uh. I did the hook to it, you heard me, did the beat. You know, Rock went in on it. As soon as he heard it, you heard me, he said, man. He just went straight in the booth after that and just started going crazy, man. I was like, damn, you know, consistent. You know, that, that uh, gotta be in you, man. That bit so hard, you know. Bro, I picked that beat a long time ago. But he always said he was gonna put that thing out and he did just what he said. That song, that song hard as fuck to it. Mm. You know, we got the other one. Uh, don't trust them, you heard me? That bitch go hard too, you know? Yeah, both bitch. of them beats are, I mean, all the ones I heard, yeah. Thanks. Things are going in, for sure. Uh -huh.
What about some? Is there artists that you you haven't worked? We we talk about some artists you have worked with, but what about some you haven't worked with? Who is there anybody out there you? Man, I'd love to do a beat for Goddamn Jay Z. You heard me? Uh, I want to do some more stuff with Ross. You know what I'm saying? We'll do more things with Ross. Um, who else? Man, I want to do something with Eric Clampton, the guitar player. You heard me? I want to do something with him, man. You know, I wanted to do something with BB King, but he passed away. So, who else? Man, I love to do something with some rock bands, man. You know, some different shit. I love to do something with, uh, I want to say Boosie. I just did a joint for Boosie called uh, Halloween. It's going to be dropping real soon, too. That bitch retarded. Uh, who else? Mm, I don't know. I don't even know. You got to think about that one. Oh, Killer Mike. I want to do something with Killer Mike. Killer Mike doing his thing right now, you know. Being real political and things, you know, that's what that's what really matters, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, Killer Mike's always had like a yeah. Beyonce. I'm gonna do something with Beyonce, Jay Z and Beyonce. Uh shit, I work with whoever, man. Whoever wanna work. Whoever whoever fuck with my sound, man, I can fuck with they sound. We can put something together. Alright. When you're not Making music, what's up? What do you do? What's a chill day for you? Oh man, a chill day. Uh, <laughs> man, you might, man, I, I might go, I might go anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? I might go take a walk around the zoo or something. You know what I'm saying? Then got the um, shit, go race some go karts or something. You know what I'm saying? On a chill day, shit. I might go take a walk by a river or something, but it's not really a chill day. It's just I take two hours out of the day, go walk by the river, and then think of some music, you know, while I'm walking, and go back and make that shit, you know, so I go right back to work, you know. It's like it's kind of like a lunch break or something, you know. Okay. All right, I'm just going to round it up with a couple quick playful questions. Some of them, some of them are, like, just sentences as you finish. Yeah. But uh <clears throat> what's the first thing you do when you wake up? First thing I do when I wake up, get up, hop in the shower, go downstairs, feed my fish and feed my pit, and then I go down in the studio and make beats and hooks. You heard me? That's all I do is make beats and hooks, you know, until somebody called for a session. No, which is usually one or two a day, but no more than three, four hours, you know. Cause I gotta make, I gotta keep cooking up the beats and the music, you know. So that's a, that's a, that's a work day. Um, all day you dream about. All day I dream about. Just one word. Family. Right, favorite drink. My favorite dream. Drink. Drink. Bocana. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, bro. I've been hearing about that Bocana. I never had it yet, though. I'm going to try it out. My favorite drink, man, I just see that, that 1800, man, that vodka, that Jose Cuevo 1800. That's me right there, you heard? Mm. Weekends or weekdays? Man, every day is like the same to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. Most of the time, I don't know what day it is. Until I look at my phone and it's like I gotta know, you know. Every day the same. Just grinding, getting it, making beats, and doing money, you know, doing getting money, doing sessions and moving around, you know. I, I make time for everything and it's the same though, you know. A Saturday and a Monday is the same thing to me. Ass or titties? Ass. Shaved or bush? It don't matter, you heard me. As long as that thing smell clean, it's all good with me. I ain't sure. That's what I was about to ask. All right, bar, bar of soap or liquid soap? Bar of soap, dial soap, antibacterial. Uh, <laughs> all right, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Man, I want to fly about this motherfucker, man. I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to go to the edge of space and shit, see what the fuck going on with the pyramids on Mars, you heard me? Crazy shit. Y'all look that shit up.
cool, cool. cool. All right, man. Just end it, man. Like, what is the future? What, what is what's your what's your future? What we gotta look forward to out of John B. Man, y'all gonna hear some of the dopest motherfucking beats on the planet. Straight up. All right. How can the people get in touch with you? Shit, you can DM me on IG or goddamn, you know what I'm saying, Twitter, or you can call me. You know what I'm saying, four zero four 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 seven 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 three four.